So hello students, this is Vasubhav Sir, your biology master teacher. If you look at the NTA website right now, if you look at the NTA website right now, there has been an update, and if you go click on the update, this particular PDF will open to all of you. Now, what is this PDF, and what is NC NTA trying to tell us? Let us look at it. And if you know, we have been fighting from the last two weeks. We have been fighting constantly, telling that yes, we need answers. We need answers for every single point that has. Why? Why this is happening? Why the paper leak? Why the marks? Why the grace marks? What is this? Sixty-seven students scoring AIR one. So NTA has finally replied to the most asked questions. So let's look at the question one by one and let's see if the answers are satisfactory or is NTA trying to run away from the problems again? So let's look at one by one and tell me in the chat right now: Is need re need possible? Because there is a very high chance that re-need might happen, because the media coverage after the entire election, the media coverage has increased for your NEET examination. So there is a very high chance, very high chance, in fact, more than fifty percent, that re-need might happen. Now, why is this happening? What could be the main reasons? Let's look at the NTA notice and let's see the questions. If you have read the entire PDF. The starting around fifteen questions are just to deceive. The starting fifteen questions does not even answer a single question which we are trying to get. So all of you now you need to focus on the question all the way from the fifteenth or fourteenth question. See here, all the way from here. So if you if you are aware, there were so many newses regarding your NEET examination even before the exam. See before the exam it was valid. Before the exam, there was something called as your reduction in syllabus, and we were not aware that what could be the entire syllabus. Now, during the NEET examination, there were news saying that the paper has been leaked, but there were good cover-ups. I have to say cover-ups that it was completely suppressed, that there was no paper leak. In fact, there was a miscommunication in the distribution of paper. But when the result day arrived. When the result day arrived, we got to know that 67 students achieved AIR one. The first question here is: Did the candidates get an opportunity to challenge the provisional answer key for the UG 2024? So, did all of you challenge? Yes, because there were certain controversial questions, right? Students, all of you remember the question of your tropic level? Yes, that was a controversial question. There was a question from your physics structure of atom. Similarly, there was one more question in your biology, that X to N to question. So all of those questions were never answered. But did all of you challenge? Did all of you challenge? Yes, all of you challenged. The next thing is, did the candidates get an opportunity to view their OMR answer sheet? See, ninety percent of you told me that yes, sir. Ninety-nine percent told me yes, we were able to see our OMR. But there were some students. Who were still messaging me, telling that, sir, we were not able to see even the OMR sheet. We were not able to open the OMR sheet, and that leads to the question that what happens to those students who were not even able to OMR sheet, view the OMR sheet? There were also some students telling me that, sir, in the initial answer key, after the final answer key, and my OMR, my uh, my marks were around four hundred marks or five hundred marks. But when the answer came out, when the result came out, my marks were around four hundred. With proof, with proof, they have shown me that, sir, this is my OMR and this is my marks which I am getting initially from the answer key. But when the result arrived, my marks has been reduced. Where is the answer to that? Where is the answer to that? The next thing which you need to remember is how were the compensatory marks calculated? Do those of you do not know what is compensatory marks? It is basically the grace marks given to students, and it says right here, the loss of examination time was ascertained, and such candidates were compensated with marks based on their answering efficiency and the time lost, as per the mechanism mechanism or formula established by Honorable, which was in two thousand eighteen. They are taking some random thing from two thousand eighteen and putting it in two thousand twenty four. And telling that compensatory marks was given for thousand five hundred and sixty three candidates. Thousand five hundred sixty three candidates were given. But what about the rest of the students? What about the students from 
Tamilnadu. So many students messaged us. What were students from Karnataka, from Andhra Pradesh? Every single center, there were students telling me that, sir, they did not even collect my admit card. They collected the admit card so late. They are telling me, sir, we got the question paper late. Now, what about those students, right? What about those students who got the question paper late here in, in Karnataka, in Tamil Nadu? Where is the answer to that? Is it only because they were able to privilege enough to write a petition, they were given the grace marks. What about the students who could not afford to give a petition, who could not afford a lawyer? What about those students? And it says here that, Few written, see, few written petitions were filed by the candidates. What about the rest of them who could not afford that? What about the students who were not aware of the fact that it happened to everyone? It says that accordingly a grievance residential committee was formed which considered the grievances or representation based on factual reports of functionary and CCTV footage from concerned exam centers to compensate for the loss of time. Now there were some cases where the CCTV footage was not available? What about those students? Where is the justice for those students? And if you look here, it says, how can the candidates score 718 and 719 marks in 2024 UG? It says that, that two candidates happened to secure it due to the compensatory marks. Now, if this was not seen, 718 and 719 was not available, we would never be able to know that grace must was given at all. So, that is the one mistake here. Now, did 44 perfect score 72790 who benefited from the physics question with two correct answers also receive the compensatory case mark? It says no. As precisely stated, compensatory marks were solely given to address the loss of time. But there are some cases where there is a proof saying that more than 50 marks, more than 50 marks were given as a grace marks. How is that fair? How is that fair, students? How can someone give 50 marks as grace marks? It totally defeats the purpose of, you know, preparing for an entire year, preparing for an entire year and then going writing examination. How can you calculate grace marks in such a larger extent? Now, 644 students then, why the answer key was changed from one, this is makes sense because of the question, physics question. Are CCTV camera installed in every examination room and what is their purpose? It says yes here, but I have seen already students verbally saying that, making videos saying that in their exam center there were no CCTV. What are they thinking? The, no, this entire PDF shows one thing. Entire PDF shows one thing that it is like that kid in the examination in the class. Whatever you tell, it gives an excuse. Have you seen that kid? Whatever the teacher tells, it will always gives an excuse. This entire seems like a big excuse considering and it's not actually following. It is not actually showing the point that the proof which we got about the leak of paper. Right? It says here, what action NT has taken for unfair, unfair cases? They told the committee was consisted of three eminent experts in the field of examination and academics to put forward different types of issues reported as impersonation. Yes, there has been some cases that they were able to catch hold of some impersonators and it was action taken. What about that telegram group? What about that groups where the question paper were distributed? What action has been taken on that? Tell me in the chat, does not, if you even do revaluation at this point, does it make justice that if a paper was actually leaked, does it make sense just to do revaluation? Tell me. Doesn't, doesn't it sound like a cover up? Tell me in the chat right now, what about the unfair means of distribution of paper? What will happen to those students who prepared for an entire year? They were working so hard and later they end up getting knowing that there was an easier way. And I have gotten messages saying that, sir, I received the paper. Sir, I, I got the paper in advance, but I thought it was a fake. And that kid is messaging me telling that, Sir, I think it was God's way of telling me that I should become a doctor. It is God's way of telling me that I should become a doctor by giving me the paper. Now, there will be so many students out there who would have opened the paper. Right? Where is the justice to that? Where is the justice to that, students? This is not a proper answer. It says, what are the criteria for 
intersection merits of candidates for tie breaking. Yes, I can agree to the tie breaking till here. Now, what about this H application number in ascending order? Imagine I am my friend and I both of are getting the same marks. Just because I was able to fill the examination paper, uh, uh, your entire form later on, I will not get a medical seat. The other person will get a medical seat. How unfair is that? How unfair is that, students? Imagine I am a student. I am preparing from past two years, taking a second second drop. Just because I was not aware of the update and I gave the paper a little late, I filled the application a little late. I will not get my medical seat now. I will not get my medical seat. Tell me, how does it make sense? Why has there been variation in cutoff of NEET examination over the years? Yes, it makes sense. Till here it makes sense. Here, till 2023 it makes sense. There has been a gradual increase. Yes, there has been a gradual increase because competition is increasing and also the, the applications are increasing. The number of seeds are remaining the same. Applicant numbers are increasing. But this year, applicant numbers was okay. Exponential increase was there. But does the cutoff make sense, students? Now, this is just the qualifying cutoff. Can you see the jump in qualifying cutoff? Do you know the jump in qualifying cutoff for your government medical college? Till last year, I used to tell my students, even if you score 610, 615, you, you are going to get a government medical college for sure. And I have gotten messages from students telling that, sir, this year I will become a doctor because I have scored 620 marks. I have gotten a message from students telling that, sir, this year I will become a doctor and I have gotten 620 marks. All that smile is gone now. Even if you score 620, 625, there is a very high chance that you might not get a government medical college. You will get some somewhere, a, you know, not so good one. What is this? Students were telling me that, yes, I will be able to get it. But I'm not going to get it this year again. And if you see, why did the greater number of candidates get full marks in UG? It says that number of candidates who appeared in 2023 was around 20 lakh. While the number of candidates who appeared in 24 is around 24 lakh or 23 lakh here. The increase in candidate naturally led to the increase in high score. So you're telling me, if next year, if we have 24 lakh students, next year if you have 24 lakh students, Will the cutoff even go up to 650 marks now? Are you, are you suggesting that? If the cutoff is gonna go, if the number of applicants is gonna go to 24 lakhs next year, which is a high probability, are you telling me that NTA that cutoff is gonna go 650 plus? Is it natural? It says out of 67 candidates who got 620, 44 are on account of revision in one answer key of physics and six are on account of compensatory marks of loss of time. So you're telling me clearly the students who have got 720 out of 720, they have gotten the grace marks. It clearly says here, right, out of 67 candidates who scored 720 720 marks, 44 are on account of revision in one answer key of physics and six are on account of compensatory marks for loss of time. So the students who got AIR1, there's a very high chance because they got AIR1 because of what? Because of grace marks. Because of grace marks. Are they playing with your life right now? Students, this doesn't justify. It doesn't justify at all. Can you can you provide detailed about the distribution of top 100 candidates of see this is again cover up. Again cover up. How does the NTA secure the authenticity in high score in for such high scores? NTA took several measures to maintain the integrity of exam. This includes biometric verification, CCTV surveillance, and strict vigilance during the exam. What about before the exam? What about the before exam? Where is the where is the proof that you know before the exam you were able to hold out the paper? Yes. So students, whatever is going to happen, we need a proper answer. Whatever is going to happen, we need a proper answer for this. This is just a cover up. If I keep on reading the entire question, entire PDF, I will just obtain the similar type of, I will obtain similar type of response from NTA. Whatever I read right now. It doesn't justify. So students, if you are new to the channel, I want everyone to smash that like button right now because 
we will be covering every single update by given by NTA, every single update by NTA. And also students, if even if the renate happens, very high chance the renate is going to happen, we are already starting the classes. Regardless of what NTA is going to give, we want our students to be prepared. So from today onwards, in fact, we have already conducted a few class on the channel. If you go to the channel right now, you will notice that there has been classes going on already on the channel. Thinking that yes, there is a possibility that re need might happen. And if it happens, we will be the first ones to tell you yes, we are already started with our academics and we will be continuing with the academic students. Right? So we are already doing the basics. If you have not understood the basics, you can watch the basics video. It's already there on the live section. And we'll be doing a complete mock test and revision for if renit is going to happen on this channel. So quickly, everyone, subscribe to the channel right now. And we'll continue our fight. The fight is on. This is not a complete answer. This is not a complete answer. We need a proper answer. And the reason do you think why this is happening? Because the entire renate is happening on a large scale now. The media is focusing on us. So keep the fire. Keep the fight on because it is not over. So with that being said, students, we have already started our journey for NEET 2025. So be the part of journey by subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next update. Take care all of you.